wanting to be around a team that competes and goes out there every day and pushes you to your to be your best baseball player, and this is the place to come. You just get excited to come out here every day. I mean, we got a press box, we got a top of the line facility, top of the line in education, uh, great town, and I mean, there's so much to love here. This isn't my program, this isn't my assistance program, this is all of our programs, the players to the coaches, and we're all invested in what goes on here. This is what I call a baseball fraternity. I want to feel like they're a vital part, and every single one of our players are a vital part of what goes on here. For this program at Earlham, it's more of a family environment. Uh, everybody, there's no cliques or anything, everybody loves each other just as much, everybody hangs out with each other on and off the field. We believe in the team first, rather than at a D1 program, people are more worried about their stats, we worry about more as a team aspect, and we'd rather hit 250 and win a conference championship than hit 450 and finish last. Earlham's ranked in the top 100 in the nation, school-wise. Uh, we got great programs. Teachers know what they're doing. They know you by your name. They don't just know you just because you're an athlete. They want to get to know you. They help you out. And at D1 school, even D2 schools, there's a bunch of kids in classes, like 70 to 100 kids in a class, and they don't really know your name. They don't care. They just want you to turn in papers. But here, they work with you. They want you to learn more stuff. If you wanted to expand your horizon of a lot of things, especially the academic part, Earlham is probably the best choice and to put icing on the cake for baseball. If you love baseball and you love the game and you want to keep playing, Earlham's probably the best place for you. You're blessed with all the facilities, blessed with great coaching staff, and everything's basically right here in front of you to create the best person you can possibly be through baseball and academics. My only desire to bridge on the First year we had the facility, we went from a 12 and 27 team to a 21 and 18 team. Uh, big turnaround, first winning season since 1971, and it wasn't new players coming into the program. We took the players we had in the program and made them better through practice and the facility that we have now that allows us to be out here in bad weather and and, and be able to work in multiple areas and not wear bare spots down in the grass and all that. So this allows us to make the players that we have in the program better by our practices and through those things. Now it helps us recruit a better student athlete with having this facility as well too so that when a kid sees this he thinks he's not missing anything by not going to Division One. He's getting that experience here. We've got one of the best facilities in D3. I I can tell you that right now because this is just as good as Cincinnati like they had a monster at Cincy we got a monster here scoreboards just as good turf fields just as good clubhouse locker room cages everything is just as good as the D1 facility absolutely amazing you couldn't really get a better facility uh, I've been to a few D1 programs too our facility compares just to like their facility uh, playing on an all turf field is awesome um, it has its ups and its down. Our locker room is amazing. Everybody's always in there. We always like to bond in there. And having the uh, um, training room right next to it is really easy for after practice. If people need treatment, just hop in there real quick. We don't have to worry about anybody else, any other teams. It's baseball oriented. We get in, we get out, and we go on with our business. I came to Earlham because the coaching staff is just unbelievable. Coach Sack is just a hell of a coach. And then Coach JB, um, there's there's not much he doesn't know. I mean, and it's great to pick their brains. Um, our motto, I'm not given, it's definitely meant to uh, what it is to play for Coach Sack. You know, he, uh, he goes to bat for us with everything. You know, he always has our back through on and off the field, um, through thick and thin, anything. He'll t go and talk to you about anything. And um, it's awesome playing for someone who truly cares for you and truly cares for the team. I love playing for him. I could say he's one of, if not the best coach I've probably ever played for. Um, even outside of baseball, he's gonna fight for us. No matter what, even on the field, he's gonna fight for us. If he doesn't think something right, he's gonna tell you. He's gonna be blunt about it. He's gonna keep, he holds us all accountable. And I think that's the most important thing, because on the field, we know we're playing for him, and he knows he's coaching for us.
You know, it's not anymore where we have moral victories. We're going out there and we're trying to win as many games as we can to get ourselves in the conference championship, win that conference championship, and play for a national championship. The group of guys we got coming in all have been a part of winning programs their entire life. So when we all get here, we all have the same goal and the same uh, aspirations to become the best team in the conference. We want to be as competitive as we can be, and we're going to give them an experience that they're not going to get anywhere else. With the facility, with the academics, with the gear, with everything that encompasses what this program's about, they're not going to get that somewhere else. So you want to be a part of this, jump on early so you can. There's so much to love here.